Thank you, Dina. Five to seven minutes. Please welcome Sam Lia Ring to the title, Are Leaders Made or Born? Are Leaders Made or Born? Sam Lia Ring. Gentlemen, there are two age-old questions that usually crop up in any city. The first one being the egg or chicken problem, and the second one being about leaders. Are they really born or are they made? This crops up so much that the same question came up about two weeks ago when I visited a club, a Toastmasters club, and I was not given any answers at that point. But tonight, I will not provide you with any answers here. Mm -hmm. But I will talk about myself and what I, what I evaluated to be my leadership style. So, giving you a brief back background about Sam, I have uh, professionally worked in research settings up into a research company and I've spent most of my time uh, studying and research uh, environments. And in those environments, there's something very interesting that takes place. You are given the resources you need, and most of the productivity issues are up to you. How you achieve what you're going to achieve, and the final product, of course. You'll always get guidance, but everything is up to you. And that is what I have known. Those that study leadership styles call it the laissez-faire leadership style. And that, in English, is the delegated leadership style. And that is the leadership style that I identify with. This leadership style can has its own pros and cons. And just to give you some of these, the pros are that your team members are given the freedom to come up with solutions to their own problems. And they are also given the room to be creative and deal with the solutions. And that is something that I think I, I sort of admire and that is what has caused me to go that to the it. Because you have your own freedom, you do what you want, but then you still deliver when it's time to deliver. And something very interesting, in my case, I don't know whether it falls under the pros, the pros or the cons, is that at the end of the day, a leader who uses this sort of style usually takes the credit when the job is done. The leaders take all the opportunity to be creative and come up with solutions, but at the end of the day, the leader gets a pat on the back. Now, I, I won't ask my ex co members to give any feedback to what I just said. We will leave that for later. I identify with this style so much that when I took the surveys that are provided uh, online away from the Toastmasters website, that is what came up. Interestingly, I read somewhere that that is also associated with those who have the analytical communication style. Because you take what you're given and you look at all the things that you are offered and you weigh them against one another. And that is what you expect your team members to also do be creative, look at problems, look at solutions, potential solutions for those problems, and offer them to the challenge that they face. But, is that the only leadership style that should apply or that I have identified with? And what I learned was that uh, there's not one leader who has one leadership style you find that you have um, a little bit of each leadership style. Some may be authoritative, some may be democratic, some may be initiative, where they tend to take uh, initiative and lead tasks or bring about solutions where they are needed. And each one of those, like I said, each one leadership style has its own pros and cons. And when you use each one of those leadership styles to help you lead, you become a better person. 
But the question again, are leaders born or made? And I am here to tell you that there is no answer for this question. You take what you are given. Each one of us is from the back. In their book, Benjamin Zander and uh, his wife, Rosamund Zander, The Art of Possibility, talk about leading from the back. That means in any team setting that you are involved in, you have your own contribution. And you also become a team member. Your contribution and everything that you bring to the table is up to you as a team member. So that means you are directly involved in making decisions and that means that you are also a leader in any setting. So in our group or in our organization Toastmasters, we are made aware of our leadership styles and we are made aware of what we may think are inherently are inherent leadership styles that we have. But we also made aware of all the other styles that we could actually possess and how they each have their own points and points. At the end of the day, no one is born aware of all these leadership styles. It's only until you are made aware of them and you take cognizance of them and apply them in any setting where they need to be applied. If you need to be direct or authoritative, then there is need for that. But you are not born as one thing, but rather is contribution from your environment as well as what you learn. With that, gentlemen, are leaders born or made? The answer is up to you. But know your leadership style.